Hi guys, this is Kevin from my subdivision um, and I've been planning on making one of these videos for a while, a tutorial on a subdivision, what I would consider a relatively complicated subdivision. Um, and you know, really depending on where you subdivide in Perth will depend on how complex the subdivision is going to be. For example, um, if you're subdividing in City of Joondalup or City of Stirling, um, City of Vincent, um, some of those areas are you know quite straightforward in the requirements. Um, but then there's other areas where you're going to have more problems, um, and those areas, in my experience, would be um, City of Gosnells, City of Armadale, City of Canning. And for this particular project, which I want to go through over the next, during this video or over, uh, you know, one, one to two videos, I want to kind of go through the subdivision process from beginning to end, showing you what we encountered along the way um, and the strategies that we employed to complete the subdivision um, and, you know, deal with Water Corporation, Western Power, and local government in this case it'll be city of canning um, to get the subdivision approved um, now i'm going to get straight into it um, as you can see on my screen here we have a few different things um, on the uh, left of the screen here we've got what's called a survey plan and generally what you'll have is when you engage a surveying company you know or a subdivision company to help you with your subdivision the first and most important thing is someone needs to come out to your land and do a survey and the reason for the survey is is you really want to try and understand um what the levels of the land are you know what type of things are there um you know how close buildings are going to be to the boundaries if those boundaries are going to be sorry if that building is going to be remaining um, you know, calculating the sizes of the lots, these thick black lines here represent the design of the subdivision. Um, and basically, there's a lot of other things on the plan which are, you know, quite important, um, you know, as you go through the subdivision. And again, depending on what area you're subdividing in will depend how important some of this information is. In this case, this was a quite a complicated project where there was, you know, a lot of different changes in level um, across the property from the front to the back. And we had to do a number of different things to, you know, complete the subdivision. Um, so the first thing would be understanding what this block looked, at, looked like from the very beginning. And I've got two videos. Um, the first video is basically a walkthrough I done at the beginning on our first day of visiting the site, and this was in 2020. Um, and basically, the second video I have is basically a, you know, high resolution fly through aerial drone video to show you the site, you know, completed, um, you know, at the end of the subdivision. So I'll give you a quick look at this site. Um, you know, on the day that we first arrived there, we record a video of every site, and we use that as a, you know, a. Um, a kind of a benchmark moving forward on um, or a point of reference on what we need to do using the video and the survey plan so here's what it looked like from the beginning and I'm going to skip through it a little bit here just to kind of speed things up but this will give you an idea of what it looked like So a bit of pointing going on here, some hands on the screen, you'll have to excuse that, but this is me basically looking at specific things and then pointing out the things of importance to my, um, you know, my office manager who sits down and designs the plans. And here I'm pointing at retaining walls going up along the boundary and kind of explaining, you know, how we need to show this on the plan, how important this might be later. Um, you know, going into here, discussing this driveway, um, this driveway was a very, um, you know, at the very beginning, we didn't know how much work we were going to have to do on the driveway. We didn't know whether we were going to create a brand new driveway or whether we were going to utilize the existing concrete so that we could, you know, keep the client spend down. We were project managing this. So our goal here was, was to complete the subdivision, but try and minimize the amount of work we needed to do 
Um, and when I say minimize the amount of work, I don't mean I don't mean minimize the amount of work we needed to do. It was more minimize the amount of work that the client needed to do to satisfy his subdivision conditions. And everything that you're not doing in subdivision is basically savings. You know, it's cash savings for you. So everything that you do do is going to cost you money and potentially a lot of money. And on this particular block, the, uh, and then, you know, he, our client asked us for an initial budget of what he thought this project would cost. And we gave him two different scenarios. The first scenario was kind of fifty-five to $60,000 if we could get away with certain things. And the worst case scenario was between 90 and 100 if the local government, um, you know, wanted retaining and earthworks and construction of new driveways and all of these different things that could come up. So we gave them two different scenarios and we planned the project based on that. And unfortunately for us, the city of Canning came down quite hard on us and they wanted everything. So when you see this site now and when you see the final site at the end where we do the fly through with the drone video it's amazing the amount of uh, changes there will be on this site and the owner in this case was building with dale alcock so we actually had to get this site ready for them so that dale alcock was ready to build on it you know as when it was ready retaining walls earthworks so that they could roll up there with their bricks and 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 uh, their concrete and just start building and that added an extra layer of complication because we had to work then to Dale Alcock's specifications instead of just coming up with what we thought was a a good design to complete the subdivision and satisfy the conditions we actually had to work to D Dale Alcock specifications and that added an extra layer of complexity because even though they were providing us with the plans it did give an, you know add an extra level of stress to it because um you know we wanted it done right um you know so that when Dale, Dale Alcock you know landed on site there was no problems so as you can see here um you know, I'll just pause this here. As you can see here at the back of the block, we've got this retaining wall coming through here. And, you know, as we pan around to the, um, uh, just give me a sec now. Yeah, as we pan around in this direction, as you can see here, the land is grading up from here up to this fence line as well. So this fence line at this point is about probably a meter and a half higher than it is here at the ground level where my yellow arrow is. So the question here was, was how much work do we need to do how much money do we need to spend do we need to retain along this whole boundary behind this shed you know and um and and do we need to level out this block and and um you know do earthworks and do we need to install retaining walls along through here because the block was sloping from the back to the front and do we need to retain along these boundaries here as in retain put retaining walls all of these unknowns and um, do we need to put new fences in here so in the end we when we got the conditional approval for the subdivision we we negotiated with the city of canning on what we needed to do and what we didn't need to do and unfortunately for our client they wanted everything done and that's why i'm using this project as kind of uh, you know the a tutorial because we had so many um, hurdles we needed to cross here that I think this was our benchmark project for 2022. It's a small project, but that doesn't matter. Um, most projects and the people who are watching this, the, the, the majority of you people watching this are going to be doing small projects. Um, but small projects can be very complicated projects. And it's very important to understand that.